nobody else had done it in South Australia, we were the first ones to do it and it took 12 months of government regulation, red tape and to, to do that, the Cremation Act said, the first line of the Cremation Act says anybody may own or operate a crematorium, so therefore provided you follow the, you know, to, to follow certain steps and procedures. And we started off doing sort of 180 cremations in the first year in 1990. And 15 years later, we're doing 2,000 a year. And the funeral directors support us because th they were being largely treated as, uh, as people who had to go somewhere to get this, to get, get the service. We have brought competition into this area and the beneficiary is the funeral directors, our funeral directors because when they do their prepaid funerals they know that their price is not going to, it's going to be under control, it's not going to be going up by 10 or 20 percent a year. And the other one is, 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 is the general public because their cremation prices now are half what they are in Victoria. Really for the whole time I've been employed with the company. Did you find it like, awkward or um, unusual or like, oh, it nervous? Was, uh, it was certainly different. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, uh, the first time I did a cremation was the first time I did one. Now that, that sounds silly to say, but the truth of it is that um, it was uh, nothing like anything I'd done before. All, all deaths can be regarded as tragic because there's a great sense of loss involved. Perhaps if it's someone that's young or someone that's died as a result of an accident or perhaps just a sudden death that's not expected. Perhaps it's a death involved where, where the children are left with no parents. They're the ones that I find difficult to deal with. My uh, two children are both older teenagers and if there's a uh, transfer that involves an older teenager, it can bring it home a little bit. The funeral industry, I think, largely will remain as it is. The core of what we do, I think, will remain the same. I believe that the way we'll relate with people in terms socially may be a little different. The way we, I mean, the way we conduct services may be a little different. I think the essence of what we do has to stay the same. basically raking them and sweeping them, then they're put into what's called a processor, which is a machine that uh, has got some little crushing sort of devices. And what that does is reduce the ashes, not to a powder so much, but more to, because the ashes are effectively 99% the bone structure of the person. The funeral's at 4 p.m., okay? And uh, so the family are going to be arriving at 3.30 p.m. There is a, a viewing time for the family, but it's only family. Uh, I've, uh, I've organised for a lock of hair from the gentleman. Right. So I, I have that. I'll give that to the family, but if yes. they ask, just let them know. I have that. No, you've got that. Yeah, well, I'll organise that. that. Wife, yeah, that's sure. right. Now, I've got a, f a football club scarf. Right. And that's going to sit upon the coffin. Yeah. And there's a photograph of uh, the gentleman. Yes. That's going to sit upon his coffin as well. Yeah. Now, because he liked his red wine, yeah. we're going to have a, a bottle of red wine. Yeah. Just with an empty wine glass wine next to it, because everyone knew that he loved wine. So, sure. uh, the family are bringing that. Yeah. And they're going to bring a CD with some music on it. And, uh, and we've got a, a video on the screen with the okay. music for the audio visual pictures. Yeah, so, we've got pictures so, of the and, and reflection and time. I'll control all that, yeah, but that'll be in the reflection time. Uh, the flowers have already been delivered down there. I've got them in a little bit early just because I just wanted to check that the flowers were right. Okay. So I just have time to change them if we needed to, but the flowers are okay. And uh, we're having donations as well for right. uh, to uh, Stroke SA. Okay. We've got the envelopes for Yeah, the Stroke the SA envelope. That's yeah, good. Got the envelopes there for the family. Okay. And uh, they're having a cup of tea after us yep. too. We've got memorial cards too. Yeah. Right? Yep. So uh, I'll put some away for the family in case they're all given out. The family got some extra ones to take home. So one between two, just in case. Yeah, we one, don't know one, the numbers. One per couple. Yeah, one per couple. couple. Yeah, sure. 
and uh, what about flowers afterwards at the end of the service? Yes, they're playing flowers. flowers at the end of the service. And the music to play while that's right. That's on flowers. That's on the sea there. Right. So, by the way, the coffin we're using is the paperboard coffin, right. and the uh, and the the, the the veneer cover. The sleeve. Of so the top, yeah. we'll, I'll give you a hand to set that up. Not a problem. Um, okay. Okay. So I'll, right. I'll get there about three. Okay. And so I'll see you there at three thirty. Traditionally, fifty or hundred years ago, funerals were fairly well done in the same way. It was very, very rare that you'd ever have a service that was not a religious service, be it with a priest or a Protestant minister. And if the coffin was to be carried to a graveside, it would only ever be men doing it. And now, as the time has progressed, we see services that are not always strictly religious. They can be completely non-religious. A mixture, if you like, a blend rather of some religion and more so leading towards a celebration of a person's life by talking about their life, having family members come and speak and so forth, audiovisual presentations. And Paul Bearers, we encourage that if there are ladies, daughters in the family, they might like to help carry the parents' coffin as well. Best part of your job? Home time. No, I mean, I don't know. Just, uh... Job satisfaction in a lot of different areas. I mean, at the end of the funeral, knowing that you've got the family what they need to get through in as smooth as possible way, I think is uh, is uh, re really rewarding. A lot of people think it's a really depressing thing. How can you work in such a depressing industry? But it's not. It's really rewarding, I think. For sure, I find it.